And some wear got into the Lansing Board of Water and Light through an email attachment. An employee opened it and it shut down the entire internal server. Customer information and utility services are safe, but the general manager told us it's made working at the BWL a lot harder the past few days. Nicole Chadwick talked to the people investigating the hack. They told her you might be surprised just how many people make the same mistake the BWL did. Obviously a, a giant headache for us in the corporate side of the company. An internal operations lockout at the Board of Water and Light after an employee opened an email attachment and ransomware hacked the utility system. They make it sound as legitimate as it can be and you know some people just uh, kind of fall for it. Ben Barry from MacMen in East Lansing wasn't surprised because he sees people come in with this kind of virus all the time. Ransomware will encrypt all the files and nobody other than the person who designed the ransomware can uh, decrypt the files. It holds your documents or in this case the BWL's internal server hostage until you pay a ransom. 250 generally is what we usually see is what they ask for. I had a lady that was taken for over 3,000. So for companies, it can be a lot bigger. The BWL wouldn't tell us how much the ransom is because law enforcement like Detective Lieutenant Jay Papard from the State Police Cyber Crime Unit are still investigating. It can be very dangerous for companies. He said ransomware is getting more and more common across the country. He showed me this live map where every ping is someone trying to hack into a server across the globe. It's getting some deserved attention in the United States because there are more similar events that are occurring. And he's not surprised that the BWL is still down because the malware can change every few hours. New versions of these tools can be engineered every day. So an antivirus company may be battling one flavor of that malicious software one day and within the next 24 hours it could have evolved two or three or four times. So he's warning people, back up your files because with one click, it could be held ransom. And that was Nicole Chadwick reporting. The BWL general manager also said they're hoping to have the ransomware out of the system by next week. Ben Berry from MacMen tells us most of the ransomware cases he sees show up with an overseas number for you to call in order to get your files back. And he's warning people if you see that pop up, disconnect your computer from the internet and take it in to see someone right away. If a ransom demand shows up, Barry says do not pay it because you most likely won't get your files back. We will continue to track the situation at the BWL and have an update as soon as we know more.